Greetings all. Fantastic to be able to say hello to you and actually to say thank you for what you're doing. Mm. There really has been so many challenges, hasn't there, Deb, for our team? Absolutely. I've been thinking over these last few weeks and I woke up one morning and I had this memory of one of the soldiers at the core I used to attend as a youngster would ask me this question, how goes your soul? (laughs) Deb, I think that's a pretty important question these days. Absolutely. Over the last few days, it's really interesting. I love it when God gives me scripture over and over. And so the last few days, it's been Psalm 90 that reminds us about our lives being fleeting, but the Mm. fact that God's, you know, God is, you know, from everlasting to everlasting, from generation to generation, God is. And um, that's been really helpful for me. And just to keep in perspective that my, how important my relationship with him is because he's the one who gives security mm. and he's the one who gives certainty. And we he doesn't want us to live lives of significance, but it's only when we actually have that relationship with him that we can do that. Yeah, and so we remind ourselves, don't we? But we want to encourage you the mm. primacy of our relationship with Jesus Christ is so pivotal. Mm. The other question I remember, Deb, this came to me just a few weeks ago when I woke up one morning, was as a young officer, there was another officer who would often ask me the question, how goes the Salvation War? And it was almost a bit of a throwaway comment, but again, Mm. I remind myself that that's so pivotal for us these days, isn't it, Deb? Absolutely. We are in a battle, and Ephesians 6 reminds us of that and about needing Mm. to put our armour on. I've also been in many prayer rooms over the last few weeks and really encouraged to hear from actually right around the world that God is wanting to do a new thing. And so we, we because of that, that you know, the, I think the heat of the battle goes up. So we need to remember to put the armor on to make sure we, you know, we're protecting our thoughts with the helmet of salvation, buckling that, mm. you know, that belt of truth around us, having the breastplate of righteousness on, and um, and absolutely, you know, um, the shield of faith being yeah. important, and and the sword of the spirit, because we want feet that you know that is is sharing the good news, mm. even if that looks different in these days. So, yeah. when I look at that armor. And it's really about putting Jesus on. That's what it's about. Because he is all those things to us. Yeah. So we want to take this opportunity. We encourage ourselves, but Mm. we want to encourage you to guard your hearts in these days. Absolutely. The primacy of our Mm. relationship with Jesus Christ and recognizing this incredible privilege we have to serve. It's actually a spiritual battle that we're in. Mm. And so we better make sure that we've got our armour on. Mm. So God bless you each. Thank you so much for what you're doing. We rejoice at the way in which God is at work. God be with you. Bless you.